Hi everybody, welcome to Justina the Handmade Channel. This is Justina. Uh, today I wanted to share with you this cute um, strawberry drawstring pouch. Uh, it's, it's a really cute summer project, but who doesn't like strawberries all year round? So if you are happening to watch this video in the winter, um, if you are longing for summer, this is a great project as well. Uh, this is a very cute and very effective uh, small little project that doesn't need much materials. Uh, all I use uh, is just a regular woven cotton or quilting cotton and a piece of fusible fleece and that's really all you need. Uh, I also use a little bit of cotton ball uh, to fill my little flowers. I think they are really cute and uh, add to the cuteness of the pouch, but uh, they are just uh, optional addition. So if you don't wanna uh, do it or you don't have any filler for your little flowers, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, the finished size of the pouch uh, is about five uh, by five inches. Uh, it has a little bit of a depth to it as it is a drawstring pouch and also we are adding some darts to give it a little bit of a rounded shape. Um, I chose to use my little pouch for my small uh, little electronic parts that, that we always have laying around and uh, usually they are a mess. So I have some charging cables, I have my little um, drive in here and my, ear, my earbuds so that's one of the use you can um, have this pouch for you can also uh, use it for uh, sewing supplies um, you can use this as a cute uh, gift wrapped um, you can create this as a gift and just fill it maybe with candies uh, for uh, for some small little gift um, uh, for a friend or a family member. This pattern, it's a free pattern. So um, it's available for free for everybody. You can just follow the link in the description box below to download the file. Uh, this video uh, serves as a uh, visual instruction on how to put this project together. Uh, if, you did, uh, if you decide to create one of those pouches, I would like to see your creation. So please make sure uh, to tag me on social media. You can join my Facebook group or uh, tag me on Instagram. Links to both are in the description below as well. If you are not yet a subscriber to my channel, um, I would really appreciate if you do subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like. And now, if you want to see how this little uh, drawstring pouch comes together, please keep watching. Uh, to start our project, we're going to uh, quickly run through all our needed cuts uh, and supplies. Um, so first of all, we're going to cut uh, the body of our pouch and that's going to be four uh, panels A. So you can cut two out of a red fabric for the outside and then two for uh, from any other uh, color of fabric. I just choose to uh, make all of them from the red uh, polka dot fabric. Also, you're going to cut two fusible fleece uh, pieces. Uh, you're going to cut them a little bit shorter. Uh, on the top, there's going to be a broken line marked on the bottom piece. So you're just going to fold it along that line and just use the shorter uh, pattern uh, piece A to cut out your fusible fleece pieces. As you can see, I already attached one of them uh, to the fabric. I'm going to show you on the video how to attach the other one. Also, as you can see, I only cut um, the little uh, dart in the fusible fleece. I'm not cutting it in the fabric itself. Uh, I'm just going to use um, that part to create my little dart and also for the lining I'm just going to transfer uh, the markings from the panel piece and uh, sew uh, the dart on uh, using the marks. I'm not cutting it out on my outer fabrics or my lining fabric. Uh, then you're going to need a piece of fabric for the drawstring channels. Um, as you can see I pre prep one of the sides uh, you're just going to double fold it by one fourth of the inch. I'm going to show you on the video how to do it on the other side. 
uh, we're gonna have two pieces of fabric cut for the drawstring uh, string so uh, yet again I'm gonna show you how to prep uh, one of them uh, also we're gonna need a piece of fabric for our leaves and this is uh, folded in half in preparation uh, and we we not gonna be cutting out uh, the leaf itself uh, from the fabric separately we're gonna trace the shape uh, and follow and we're gonna sew following the traced uh, shape before we cut any leaves out I'm gonna show you how to do that also uh, in the next steps of the video and another um, optional uh, part of the a pouch is a little flowers on the end of the strings uh, I cut a piece of uh, white fabric with a little uh, rose gold uh, dots on it for my flowers and I'll need some uh, cotton balls or any other filling material to just make them nice and plump I also gonna be using a corresponding thread colors uh, to sew my pouch uh, you can use any Thread. I'm using a polyester thread, which is Gutterman Mera uh, 70. To start our project, we're just gonna prep all our uh, green elements, that, that's how I'm gonna call them, uh, to just take them all at once to the machine. And while we have our green thread threaded through our machine, we can just complete all of them. So first, uh, we're gonna prep our uh, leaves. So you're gonna take your fabric, you're gonna fold it in half, right sides together, and using the leaf template provided, uh, you're gonna trace it on the fabric, making sure that the uh, flat part of the leaf is along the uh, open edge of your fabric. So you wanna place it, you wanna make sure you have about one fourth of an inch space on each side of the leaf. And you can use really any tracing uh, pen to trace the shape. Um, that's gonna be covered with our uh, seam line so you don't have to worry about it showing on the right side. So you're gonna obviously repeat that with all four leaves. So you're gonna have uh, four uh, traced leaves on the fabric and when we sew them we're gonna have four um, full uh, leaves uh, made so that's prep we can put that on the side then you want to take a pressing mat uh, take your panel for the drawstring uh, channel and as you can see on one side I already prepped it so you're gonna fold it once press it and fold it again and to create a, a edge that doesn't have have a row edges so it's not gonna fray while we are pulling on our drawstrings so let's repeat that on the other side Uh, this one panel will create two uh, drawstring panels. Uh, I just think it's easier to sew one together. So this way we're gonna make sure we have two uh, drawstring panels that are exactly the same size. Um, so that's prepped. Now we're gonna work on our uh, drawstring string. So you wanna take your panel, first fold it in half and press it all the way through. And now using the crease we created in the middle, we're gonna fold the row edges up to the middle crease on one side and press it. Repeat that on the other side.
and when you have that prep now you can fold the panel in half and press again and now all our green elements are prepped so we're gonna now go to our machine thread our green thread through the machine and first we're gonna sew our leaves so you're gonna sew following the traced line uh, all around on four leaves make sure you're back stitching on those two points so on the beginning and on the end of each seam uh, so you just take your time go pretty slow follow the trace line you can use uh, 2.5 uh, stitch length so that's what we're gonna do with all our four leaves on our drawstring channels we're gonna take it to the machine and we're gonna sew one eighth of an inch on each of the folded sides to make sure that our folds are fixed in place and on our uh, drawstring strings we're gonna sew along both long edges with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and a 2.5 uh, stitch length so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna now take all our green elements and complete uh, the sewing so now all our green elements are sewn so I have my four leaves I have my two drawstrings and my drawstring uh, channel so first I'm gonna fold the channel in half just finger press it and use that crease to uh, to cut it in half So now I have two and now I'm going to take my leaves and using pinking shears, you can use just a regular shears. Um, we're going to trim all our leaves out of our fabric. Uh, so you want to trim uh, outside of your seam line about one fourth of an inch. Um, Pinking shears will help with the curved edges, but if you don't have pinking shears, just trim uh, all four leaves out and then snip the seam allowances all around. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. When we have the leaves cut out, we want to make sure we have as little fabric as possible at the little points. So we're just going to trim around where the point of the leaf is. And now we can turn the leaves right side out. push the seam nicely, roll them out so we get this nice rounded shape and repeat that on all four leaves. After you have the leaves uh, turned right side out, so we're going to press them. And uh, 
here is something optional that you can add to embellish your leaves uh, you can just uh, freehand uh, the um, leaf veins onto the leaf you can do it totally freehand or you can just uh, quickly drawn something onto the leaf uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and freehand the uh, leaf uh, veins onto the leaf what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna start from the beginning uh, go to uh, the point when I'm when I want the vein to stop go back create a little branch another one go back and forth until I uh, go back to the start point of uh, my leaf vein um, so let's do that or if you're not doing it uh, you can uh, skip to the another step now my leaves are completed they don't look identical it's totally uh, free-handed and I like it this way nature is not perfect so um, you can just feel free and uh, you know there, there's no mistake to be made whatever you do it's gonna look great so this concludes all our green elements so we can move on to prepping our main body of the pouch so we're gonna take all four panels a which will be two outer panels and two lining panels now that i already uh, have my one of the outer panels interfaced i'm gonna interface another one you wanna align the interfacing with with the bottom part of the panel and leave uh, the seam allowance on top uh, unlined um, fusible fleece could be tricky sometimes so just take your time make sure you are spreading the fabric so no wrinkles are created also a little trick as you can see like i have some bubbling um created while my um glue dries so what i'm do i put it on a cold surface and i'm smoothing it with my ruler so i'm making sure that my fabric and the glue of the fleece is drying nice and flat okay so now that i'm happy with my uh, fusible fleece i want to mark my uh, lining panel so i'm gonna flip them wrong side up i'm gonna take my uh, pattern piece and using a marking tool i'm gonna trace the little darts onto my fabric And that's done i'm gonna fold it making sure that the marks meet, uh, meet in the middle you can use um, clips to make sure uh, the fold is held in place repeat the same thing with the outer panels and i'm, I'm just gonna use the edges of the interfacing When I have both of my outer and lining panels prepped like this, I'm gonna take them to the machine. I'm gonna change the thread to the red thread and I'm gonna create the darts sewing following the line that I drew and sewing right along the interface. So I'm gonna create the darts on all uh, four of my panels. So now we have our, our main panels prepped with our dart sewn. Uh, we're gonna put the two uh, panels that are not interfaced on the side. Those are the lining panels. 
and now we're gonna work on uh, adding our uh, green elements so first we're going to take our drawstring panels for the channel and we're gonna fold them in half and press When we have the little channel spread, then we gonna grab our uh, our panels and our leaves, and we gonna position a pair of leaves on each of the panels, so you can center it. The top edge measures six inches, so I know this is my center. So I wanna center my leaves, and I wanna add them at a little bit of an angle. Now I'm going to use pins to secure that layout. They don't have to be exact. This is all a matter of taste. Plus, um, nature, like I said, nature is not perfect. So whatever you're going to do, it's going to be fine. We just want to make sure we have an open space here to finish up our uh, side seam. So that's the only thing to keep in mind. And now that we have the leaves uh, attached, we're going to take our drawstring channels and making sure that the row open edge is on the top, we're going to center it along the top edge. And uh, when you have that prep, and you also want to make sure that your your uh, drawstring channels will meet at the same place when you put those two together. So when you when you put the pouch together, they uh, they're not going to be shifted. I, I can see this one needs to be adjusted a little bit. So now it looks good, so I'm happy with that. Uh, now that I have this put together, I'm gonna take it to the machine and I'm gonna baste all of those elements in place with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length. Now that the elements are based in place, we can trim the axis of the leaves. And now we can place both our panels right sides together. You're gonna align the little darts first and clip the panels along the rounded edges. Repeat that with the lining panels. So place both of them right sides together and starting with the dart on the bottom clip them along the rounded edges on the lining we want to remember to mark a, a turning hole to remain unsewn so you're gonna take uh, some pins and mark about three inches on the side So you're going to remember not to uh, sew the space between those two pins. Um, and when you have both panels prepped like this, you're going to take them to the machine and you're going to sew the outer panel all around the rounded edge, leaving the top edge open with the 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and 2.5 stitch length. With the lining, you're going to sew from the top edge to the pin and make sure to backstitch well on the beginning and on the end of the opening 
and continue the seam up, up to the straight edge uh, using 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and 2.5 stitch. When sewing the outer panels just make sure that your elements are out of the way of the seam so you want to make sure you are not sewing in the leaves or the drawstring channels into the side seam. Now that the panels are sewn we're gonna trim our seam allowances with the pinking shears or if you don't have pinking shears you can just snip the seam allowances all around and when it comes to the lining we're gonna trim the seam allowances we're just not gonna trim them when we have our opening When that's done, we're gonna turn our outer right sides uh, right side out. And still keeping all our decorative elements inside nice and flat. We're gonna now place the outside inside of our lining and the lining should be wrong side out. So we have the right sides of the lining and of the outer together. You can now align the side seams together. And pin. I like to use pins on a smaller project instead of clips because um, I can conti continuously sew with the pins in my fabric and with the clips um, it's a little harder on a smaller project that that's how i feel but um, if you are okay with clips you can use clips to just attach both top edges of the lining and on the out end of the outer uh, together And now that you have the top edges pinned together, you're gonna take it to the machine and you're gonna sew all around with the 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and 2.5 stitch. Now that the top edge is sewn, I just wanna give you a tip. This is pretty small opening. So uh, to sew it, just place it uh, on the bed of your machine this way and just go all around from the inside um, that's how i did it our top is sewn and uh, now we can use the opening to turn our project right side out now we can temporarily place the lining inside because we still have to close it now it's a good time to make sure that our seams are nicely pushed out so roll your seams to make sure that our project has a nice rounded shape now we can place the lining temporarily inside the pouch to prep all our decorative elements so you want to make sure that your lining is inside that your leaves are lying flat on your pouch and that's how we're gonna press uh, our project and now uh, we can top stitch the top of our pouch uh, making sure that our drawstring panels are in the up position and our leaves are nice and flat and we're gonna top stitch on top of our leaves to make sure that they are nice and flat when we close our pouch so now um, take it back to the machine and top stitch on top of the leaf so no not on the drawstring uh, channel but below it 
all around with the 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and 3.5 stitch length um, you can do uh, the opposite so you can turn the pouch wrong side out make sure everything is nice and flat and yet again sew from the inside so you can control the seam allowance on the right side of your project so take it to the machine and top stitch all around your project i top stitched my pouch all around and now the last thing to do uh, is to close our turning opening so you're gonna take the lining out fold the row edges inside try to keep it a little rounded as much as possible but i wouldn't worry about it too much because nobody will ever see it inside and you can again or pin it or clip it and take it to the machine and top stitch along the opening with the 1 8 or 1 16 seam allowance and 2.5 stitch length to make sure that our lining is closed now the lining is closed so i'm gonna place it inside of my little pouch and now i'm gonna take my drawstring uh, drawstrings and thread them uh, through my panels so i'm using a threader but you can use a safety pin whatever you have on hand take the second one and start threading from the opposite side So now you want to make sure that you have equal ends on both sides and just tie a knot. And you can be finished now, or you can add uh, the little flowers to embellish our little knots. To do that, we're gonna use um, the uh, light or white fabric. You're gonna place it wrong sides together and clip. And take it to the machine and sew along this edge with the one fourth of an inch seam allowance and 2.5 stitch length. Uh, you can change your thread to white so it's, it won't pick through uh, a green or a red color. We have our little tube created. We're gonna fold it in half and just cut it in half. So we have two and uh, start working on uh, one of our flowers so we want to put the knot through the tube completely and now um, we're gonna use just a regular thread and a hand sewing needle I just tie a knot on the end of the thread and now we're gonna um, sew a running stitch around this edge of the uh, white tube it really doesn't matter where we start we can start close by the uh, seam allowance you want the stitches to be about one eighth of an inch 
in length when you have the thread all around you're gonna pull on it and make sure that your pleats are nicely spread up all around the knot you can uh, wrap the thread a couple times around the the fabric and secure that with the knot leave the a thread hanging and flip the fabric right side out now you can choose the size of your flower so if you wanted something longer you can leave the fabric as is uh, we're gonna fold the edge um, inside to hide the row edges so we want to have it left at about inch and a half so make sure you're not cutting the thread just trim the fabric fold the row edge inside by about one fourth of an inch finger press it so we have a nice crisp edge and start uh, filling the little flower with some filler you can use a cotton ball and now that your flower is filled in you're gonna insert the needle about 1 16th of an inch just to catch the edge pull the edges together and just close one end of the flower together when that's secure you're gonna uh, insert the thread on the other side and pull that together repeat that on the other opposite end pull those edges together and secure them with adding a couple more stitches and finish it up with a knot To hide the knot, we're just gonna push the thread inside of our flower. And just pull on it. And now, instead of having just a plain knot on the end, we have a nice little uh, strawberry flower. Um, so the last thing to do is just create the same uh, flower on the other end of our string. And after finishing the second flower, our pouch is now completed. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, project and that you're gonna give it a go. The link to the pattern is in the description below, so just follow the link and uh, get uh, the uh, free pattern for this little pouch. Uh, I hope to uh, see your creations in my Facebook group. So please make sure to join the Facebook group if you're not a member yet. And if you are, um, please uh, share your creation uh, with our community. Till the next time.